Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here. Um, we are going to cook for you today. We're going to cook uh, teppanaki style. We're going to cook possibly hibachi style, if you know it as that. Um, Japanese style. The Japanese food like um, samurai, uh, benihana, one of the most popular. Japan in we have here. You've probably heard of Kobe. I know in the Orlando area they have Kobe, K-O-B-E. So it's the fried rice, the shrimp, uh, the steak, tempura, uh, th that's more of uh, um, dropping into hot oil. But we're going to do it on our griddle top and that's why we have this, so that we could do this style of cooking. So I've just turned my, my grill on, it's been on probably probably now 10 minutes. Uh, it took me a little while to prepare. Um, so it's pretty hot right now. I'm going to squirt a little bit of water on here just to clean it off. Take my rag. Make sure the steam does not get me. You see how hot that is? Because that water went bye-bye. And by now, it's been about a month, uh, maybe six weeks, and you see how nice and seasoned my, my griddle top is. Um, let me go ahead and squirt a little bit of olive oil. In fact, I'm just going to coat the whole thing. And we'll move it around. You see how nice and seasoned the top is. Remember when you got it? Remember when you, uh, when you saw me get it, and those of you, the many, many, many of you that have purchased uh, Griddle Master's uh, Griddle Top, uh, it was nice and shiny when you got it, and I told you, take a picture of it because it's not going to be shiny for long, and this is what you're going for. You're going for nice black all over the place. So. We're going to take our rice, and just like they do, they drop it in. And we'll break it up a little. So we're just moving the rice around a little. Again, we have all this room. I'm going to do multiple things on here, and I did not bring eggs with me. David! So, let's see if Griddle Master Junior Junior is in the area. I need four eggs. Ah, the wife. While I'm doing that, I'm going to drop some mushrooms, because mushrooms take a while to do. And... Um, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> and I am going to, because the steaks are pretty big, I'm going to put the steaks on. Alright. Love that sound. And let me reach out for some eggs. Thank you. Um, griddle Master Wife. I got to bring a fork, but I can deal without it. Yeah, I'm good. So let me come over here, and I guess I'll just crack 
them here. And they usually do all the tricks. I'm not going to do tricks. Maybe if I practiced a little, I would do that for you. All right. We're just going to put four eggs in there. Um, we get a towel. Wipe that all off. Just move this rice around a little bit. Get it all hot in. We have some carrots. I don't want to put too many carrots. And I have some broccoli. Let me go ahead and do the eggs real quick. For the eggs, we're going to drop a little bit of oil. Move, get it all loose, wet there. Drop the eggs right there. Break them up a little bit. You didn't need a fork. Now this all happened so fast. I'm going to go ahead and drop the onions on. I have shrimp still. And I also have some broccoli. Don't forget, they always do a uh, volcano. But again, we're not going to do that either. get another one. That way I can do some chopping. Alright. Whoa, I'm going to get back. Alright, we can mix that in. with our rice. You know the other thing um, I'm going to post to the website for you is the white sauce. Yeah, that's right. The white sauce that you usually get not so much at Benihana but at the Kobe at the Samurai, at the Japan Inn. I have a really, really good recipe um, that I'll post to our website, griddlemaster.com, that just takes this to the next level. Um, it looks really, really good, the white sauce that you have to have when you're eating this type of food. Now, what else? What am I missing? Come on, you guys. What am I missing that they always uh, put in there? Some butter and garlic. Gotta have that. Gotta have it everywhere. So, let's mix that butter and garlic. But instead of doing that, all that work, let's what else am I missing? What am I missing? It's here, it's here, it's right here. What do they call it? Coca-Cola. No, it's soy sauce. Gotta do soy sauce. Now let's mix the rice all in. Don't forget, I got the shrimp. Still have shrimp and I still have broccoli to put on here, but I'm gonna wait because I don't want that to be cooked too much. Remember, they do this. Uh, there you go. They form a heart. Let me move. Woo! It's hot on that edge. Okay. And then they go under and they go like this, like it's pumping. 
in Orlando. They make Mickey Mouse. So, let's flip our onions. Let's move this. Okay, let me get a knife. Actually, you know what? I don't need a knife. I'll just use my mushrooms. We're going to tuck those away a little bit. Onions. They look pretty good to my liking. Let's flip these steaks. Ooh, doggy. Love that steak. How does it look up there? Look like something you want to eat. Order yourself a griddle master top, griddle top. Turn your barbecue into a work of art. All right, let's just go ahead and drop our shrimp down. Remember, they all cut it all up, all fancy. They fling stuff up into their hat. Now this is really fried rice. I like a little crunch. I don't know about you guys. Butter garlic or the shrimp. Let's go ahead and uh, work a little on this bro broccoli. Let's go ahead and butter garlic it. Let's squirt just a little bit of water. Let's get a bowl. Get a handle this. Handle this. Remember, found online. You get a set of two. Let me get this uh, onion out from under. Let's get you back in the pool. Get you in the pool. All right. Get a little bit of water. All right. That's steaming away. I can hear it going. Let's go ahead and flip our shrimp. All right. All you experts. That spend your hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars going out to Japanese restaurants. What am I forgetting? What have a nice squirt on the shrimp or the chicken? There's chicken that they usually do, but we're not doing chicken. Lemon. And I have fresh lemon juice here, so we're gonna squirt some on our shrimp. Toss it a little. Alright, let's let those 
crisp up. Steak feels like it's pretty good. Broccoli. How's that? I think it's done. So, we're going to go ahead and pop off the handle this. Have another bowl. Take the broccoli. Broccoli's done. You always want to have a bunch of bowls, a bunch of plates, or whatever you're planning to do with it. So, I'm going to get a tray. And we're going to take our onions and put them over here. Put our mushrooms. Oh, got an onion. Runaway onion. Now they usually combine it with the broccoli and all the vegetables. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Take our shrimp. Put that over here. Leave some room right on the edge for our steak. We're going to let those, all the temperature, return the juices. Okay, and then, you know what? I'm going to. Okay, the handle of this bowl is all cool already. We'll go ahead and flip the rice for a little bit. And we'll put it in. Woo! Get it warm. All right, not too bad. And those of you that go all the time, how much stuff do they throw away? Look at, my grill top's done, it's clean. Now a lot of you have asked online, Griddle Master, where, um, where's the drain? Why don't you have a drain? Well, if you think about it, and I'm going to turn some of this. This, was, this whole entire meal was cooked on low. Totally, totally low. All across the board, it was low. So, um, in fact, I'm going to leave. No, I'm just going to. So, you asked, where does, where does all of it go? Where, where is the drain for this? Well, because we make this, these custom made for all of your barbecue grills, we cannot put a drain. And like all the other ones on the market, they said on top of your griddle, or on top of your grates. On top of your grates. We are setting in place of your grates. That way it gets a whole lot hotter and we leave room for the heat to escape. So therefore, we cannot have a drain. And we cannot say, put it right here, put it right there, put it there, based on everyone's different fire location. So, it's all boxed in, totally boxed in, and you just saw me do the rice. Doesn't take long. I did a whole bunch of bacon, just scooped, just like I did with the rice, I scooped the grease right into the bowl. Done, 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 done. So, it's not a big deal at all, you will see, as you see with me. So now, 
it's time for me to clean up. Like Barney used to sing, clean up, clean up. So, if you were to do steak, shrimp, onions, mushrooms, broccoli in your kitchen, how much cleanup would that be to do? You'd be there for a while. So, I'm just getting the food off. Now, we're going to take high quality H2O. Keep the hands clear, move it around. It's weird because it smells like coffee. Alright, and now we're just going to wipe it off. doggy. You usually want to have a couple, a couple rags, but as you can see, turn the last three off. That's it. How long would it take you to clean those pots and pans if you did that in the kitchen? Now, yes, we have a pan or two, but those are cooked on, baked in, grease fla flaring everywhere. That's just food setting on there. So, Chinese stir fry, or Japanese stir fry, Japanese food, uh, tepanaki is uh, what it's known for. Um, hibachi for some people, but it's fried rice, shrimp, broccoli, onions, mushrooms. Can't beat that. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you're excited to do this at home. If you have any questions, uh, email me at joe at griddlemaster.com or uh, on the website. Contact us. If you have any questions, had a order, had a couple orders last week where people put them in their kitchen. So they measured out for their kitchen because um, they have gas. And I guess they have a range that'll suck all the, the smoke and everything out. And uh, they're putting it in on their range. Someone else asked about the infrared uh, system. Yes, it works on the infrared. Remember, you take everything out. You don't need anything in there. All you need is the griddle top on there. Anything that covers the fire, you want to take it out before you put your griddle top on there. Griddle Master Joe signing out. out. Hope you had a great time watching, and like I said, hope you enjoy cooking for yourself. God bless. Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff.